Hey guys, I'm Martin. Today I'm going to go over some basics on one of my favorite tools, the razor. Let's start with some total basics. If your razor came with a guard, just remove it. Okay, and now we will proceed to change the blade. Open the razor up, pull the black insert out, and you can open it, and this is where the razor fits in. If you have already a razor in it, remove it, and always take your old razors, properly dispose in a sharps bin. The razors come in a nice little packet. Keep them in the packet, okay, for safety. You will fold it in half, snap, snap, snap. Three snaps. Rip the package in half. Open it up. Here's your razor blade. The razor fits only one way in the sleeve. Make sure the notches align. Close the plastic sleeve over and make sure that the razor is more or less aligned on the plastic sleeve. Grab the razor, slide the black sleeve in and make sure that the blade is more or less even. Close it for safety. Okay, so now that we changed the blade, let's learn how to hold this thing. Open the razor up and you'll see like it just kind of stands up by itself. What we will do is we will place the thumb just past the pivot point, index, middle, ring finger, and then the pinky underneath. And this thumb is providing pressure this way, pinky this way, these three fingers that way. Okay, it's important to note that my fingers are not curling over the razor. That can be a problem if we close it, right? You should be able to hold the razor light enough that you can lift your index finger and still feel secure in your hand. So now we held the razor. How do we hold the comb and the razor at the same time? That's pretty easy. This is my trick. Let go of the thumb and the razor will fall back. Razor pointing towards you so it's safe for the client. Make a fist. Okay, like you're gonna, okay? Open up your index finger, your thumb's available, and that's where the comb fits in. As you're using the tool, you will be sectioning the hair, scissor grip, passing the comb over, opening your hand, placing your thumb right past the pivot point, and here you have your tool. Let's see that in real motion. This is the movement.